Hey you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, we are going to be continuing with my curricula week here on this channel. And in today's video, I will be sharing with you guys my first graders curricula picks for the 2024-2025 homeschooling year. So you guys, um, I'm really, really excited about this upcoming year for my rising first grader. Um, I really have more things planned for her this year. As you guys have seen for her kindergarten year, I really kept things really, really simple, really stuck to the basics, which was reading, writing, and arithmetic. But this upcoming homeschool year, uh, we are doing all subjects. It is official, you guys. Uh, we are required as a first grade in my state to teach all subjects, math, writing, reading, history, and science. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys everything this homeschooling year. I'm a little bit nervous because I'm adding more to my plate when it comes to my first grader but I know she's ready and I know she's excited about all of the things that we have planned for her so we're gonna go ahead and get kick started and I'm gonna share with you guys math so for math it's no surprise <laughs> We are going to be continuing with the Math with Confidence series. As you guys are watching this video, we have already started first grade Math with Confidence with her. She has actually completed preschool of Math with Confidence, kindergarten Math with Confidence. So this is going to be her third level continuing with the same program. And I'm so excited. I love the games, the mental math, the conceptual knowledge that is in this curricula. You guys, please do not be fooled by the student workbook and thinking that this curricula is too easy or it's gentle because the meat of this curriculum is in the games. It's in the conceptual and mental knowledge that the kiddos will be gaining. So I really am excited to continue with another level of Math with Confidence. Um, I really enjoy this program. My kiddos, they all enjoy this program. They really love this hands-on approach with math. I will say this curricula requires a little bit more prep work than most math curriculums. But uh, from my experience, I feel like it's so worth it for uh, seeing the growth in all of my kiddos when it comes to their math knowledge. So uh, Math with Confidence, I'm excited to continue with this series. Now for this particular kiddo, we always have done two maths. So she's going to actually be continuing with Math You See Alpha this year. She did Kindergarten Math with Confidence and Primer this year. So she's just following suit doing two math curriculas. She loves it. I love both of these curriculums, but I really love using um, math you see along with the kindergarten math or the math with confidence series uh, because I like her using the blocks and gaining a different way in thinking about math and she really really loves using the blocks when I pull out this book she calls this book her block book <laughs> which I think is really really cute so we're going to be continuing doing both um, the math with confidence and the um, math you see do you, I think you need two math programs in your homeschool it's up to you. But in my homeschool, we really love doing two math curriculas. I believe all of my kiddos do two math curriculas in my homeschool. Now, as far as handwriting goes, we're going to be continuing with Handwriting Without Tears. This is going to be the, I think, fourth book she's going to be doing because she did the green book, the purple book, orange, and then, yeah, so this is going to be the fourth book. So um, I really love uh, Handwriting Without Tears. I love the systematic approach when it comes to teaching uh, print. I will say, um, I think it's one more book after this, which is the second grade uh, printing book. I think that's going to be the last book that I do because I'm I don't really like their cursive that much but their print I absolutely love it so we're going to continue with the uh, printing series with this program and then once she rises into cursive I'm going to be looking for something else outside of the handwriting without tears series but overall I really really love this program for handwriting now as far as her language arts block everything that I have schedule for her. We are going to be continuing with all about reading level one. Uh, for this particular daughter, my first uh, grader, she actually has a speech delay and she has been working through speech therapy. Um, cross our fingers, she is actually going to be tested um, this, I believe it's this April or May. She's going to be tested to see if she will test out of speech therapy because she's been doing so well. Um, so we're still going to be working in level one. 
I'm taking this at her pace. She is doing good. She has exceeded my expectation when it has come to reading with, a, I guess, speech delay and a challenge. And all about reading, it really has assisted me in giving her the skills that she needs in learning like reading. So I'm really proud of her. I'm proud of all the hard work that she's done. So we're going to just go ahead and continue with the All About Reading Level 1 series. If we complete this, this homeschooling year, we would just go into Level 2. If not, I'm just going to be excited that we are still truckling along and we're making progress in her reading instruction. And I'm so proud of this kiddo. So All About Reading. Now, as far as additional phonics, we are going to continue using Explode the Code because you guys, this really has solidified a lot of those phonetic skills for her. Um, so we're going to be doing book one and a half and two this uh, homeschooling year. So I'm excited. I love Explode the Code. Now, as far as like extra readers and things like that, I have the Bob book set two, which she's going to be on. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so proud of this girl. So we're going to be on box two. And I also went ahead and I supported this company called Toddlers Can Read. Um, he has, his name is Spencer. He has a YouTube channel here and he really just leaves out a lot of good nuggets when it comes to uh, just working with your kiddos when it comes to reading. I'm not specifically using his uh, reading program, but you guys, I had to support him because I watched a few of his videos and it really helped me in giving um, my uh, middle daughter instructions as far as finest goes. So when I seen he came out with his own like decodable readers, I went ahead and I got them and they're so cute. Um, so here goes one of the uh, readers. This one's called Swim. And I think this is a box of what, 12 readers all together. So here's all the readers. So I am so excited to have supported his company because his videos on YouTube has been so, it's been so valuable for me especially in helping my daughter with her blending skills in particular. I really enjoyed his video. So I'm excited to use his uh, decodable books. Now, as far as uh, spelling goes, we are going to be using Zaner Blozer's Spelling Connections. I'm really, really excited about this spelling program. Uh, it follows uh, spelling doing like it the phonetic way. So she's gonna be having like a simple list of words. She's going to be doing like a word study. She's gonna be phonetically filling in the blanks. They have like little reading comprehension checks towards the end and they have a little writing section. So I really have been enjoying what I I've been seeing in the spelling connections uh, book right here so this is what we're going to be using for spelling as far as like copy work and things like that I have this primary composition book from school nest that we're going to be working on writing phonetic sentences and her drawing a picture of the phonetic sentence in her um, composition notebook and I'm really really excited for her for that now, as you guys can see, this is all of my language block. I am not adding in grammar just yet for this kiddo. Um, if I find her reading has picked up a lot, we will add in grammar our second semester. I haven't really figured out where I want to go or what direction I want to go in grammar with her just yet. So for right now, this is everything in her language block. And I will update you guys if I decide to add in grammar for her for second semester and what we will be using for grammar. But this is everything she's doing as far as language goes. Now, as far as um, history and science, what we're going to be doing, um, you guys, this was my hardest thing to pick was history and science. I really didn't know what direction I wanted to go in. It was, it boiled down to either build your library all around the world because I knew I wanted to do like some type of world cultures or Beautiful Feet. And I went, ended up going with Beautiful Feet around the world with picture books. Okay, you guys, editing Brittany here. I am coming to let you know, I changed my mind already. I decided to go ahead and go with the Build Your Library Around the World Level Zero um, curricula for our world geographies and cultures this homeschooling year. The main reason why I ultimately made this decision was first and foremost, my husband really helped me make this decision because I like the aspect of Beautiful Feet where we're reading the picture books. However, I felt like Beautiful Feet, it did miss the aspect of having like a main 
spine. And one thing that's cool about the Build Your Library is we still are going to be able to read a picture book in that specific country or culture that we're in, along with having like some reference books, which I really, really am going to appreciate. So I'm going to briefly go over the spines. But if you go to buildyourlibrary.com, she has sample weeks of her curricula and she actually gives out all of the books that she uses in her curricula. So you can really take a good look at um, everything that our kids are going to go over when it comes to um, around the world uh, this homeschooling year with my uh, kinder and with my first grader. So the spines for this particular um, curricula is cooking class. And this is like a global feast book. I thought it was so cute. I'm going to give you guys a quick flip through. So as we go through each country, we can come in here and try out some of the recipes. You guys, my oldest daughter, she flipped through this book and she's so excited too. So um, I'm definitely going to have her uh, join in as we are uh, picking out a meal. And I love how it has the flags for each of the countries. So this is cooking class. The other reference book we're gonna be using is Flags Around the World. And this is like an ultimate sticker book and it has all the stickers that we're gonna be placing uh, with the flags around the world as we go over each of the country. And one thing I really appreciate about this book is that it's very simple text. And I definitely know my first grader is going to be able to understand as we're going through uh, the geography of these cultures and flags. So here is the other spine, which is the World Atlas sticker book by National Geographic. And again, it uh, has stickers for us to place as we go through each of the countries and cultures. And I thought that was really cool. I love the information and the snapshots, the fun facts that we are going to go through as we go through this world atlas. Now, some of the bigger spines are children like me, and this is a celebration of all children around the world. And you guys, I absolutely love this book. Um, the representation, I love just the all the little snit bitty facts that we're going to be learning and to have pictures of the actual kids in that area. I mean, it definitely uh, will make it be more personable as we're going over the different uh, the different countries. We can kind of see what the children are like there. So this is Children Like Me by DK. Our big atlas we're going to be using is the Children's Atlas. And again, this is a beautiful book. I love it. I love the snapshots of information we're going to be using as we go over each of the countries. So this is amazing. And the last book that they have that is one of the spines is this Wild Animals Atlas. Now we do have another science curricula we already are doing, but because we are going over the countries and cultures, I figure it still would be fun for us to read uh, this book so we can figure out like the animals in that area. I mean, that's always fun. So we'll know the flag, the children and the animals in each country and culture that we're going to be studying. So I am really, really excited about uh, Build Your Library Level Zero. So I feel like it's a great combination of us having good spines plus the picture books. I'm going to check out all the picture books from the library so I don't have to worry about purchasing anything else since I already have all my spines. So I'm really, really excited for us to dive into this cultural study. Now, as far as science, you guys, goes, I decided to go with sunlight science. Um, it was really between sunlight and book shark. And the only reason why I chose sunlight was because they had more literature and I really wanted more books. <laughs> so that was the main reason why I chose this over book shark. Um, I was actually able to get this at a discounted price on rainbow resources because this is not the most updated science curricula. So I was really able to save, I think like $80 altogether by buying, um, I think this is the 2019 version instead of like the most updated one which I didn't mind so I don't have like the video links when it comes to the experiments or anything like that I just have the books and the lab kit and things like that which I was perfectly okay with especially stealing it you know at a more discounted rate so this is the science K that's going to go over ecosystems meteorology physics engineering and or in, and engineering design for um, sunlight. So I'm really, really excited about this one. So the books that we're gonna be using and reading are pretty much the same books. We have Ants by Usborne. This is Bees and Wasps by Usborne. This is Reptiles, Weather, Rainforest. This is Forces Make Things Move. 
I have the magic school bus inside of a hurricane. This is from Seed to Plant. Why do elephants need sun? And this is the DK uh, Find Out Science uh, Encyclopedia book. This is Wangar's Trees of Peace. I believe this is going to be the main person we're going to be using as far as like our bibliography study. I am also going to be adding in uh, learning about George Washington Carver um, as well when we get into plants for the kiddos too. Now, as far as the big science, uh, I guess manual, this is the Discover and Do Science. And you guys know science has always been my weak subject, so I'm most excited about the lab kit so i can make sure that i'm doing science i did pick the four day a week science um schedule and hopefully i'm thinking about combining it to do just two days two longer days of science instead of the four so that's how we're going to tackle science here in my home school now as far as literature goes for um my first grader she is going to join in with my pre-kinder with melanated tales and the core books for Melanated Tales is Nelson Mandela's Favorite African Folk Tales, Black Mother Goose, and Her Stories, which is African American Folk Tales, Fairy Tales, and True Tales. So I'm really excited about all of the literature that I'm going to be reading this upcoming homeschool year with my kiddos. I really feel like this homeschooling year, I was really scattered when it came to literature. I just picked out books that they liked from the library. And I really wanted like a book list, a curated book list. And that's why I went with the Heritage Pack. So I can ensure that we're doing like all of the literature, we're reading all of our folk tales that I want to read for, with my kiddos. And I'm on more of a schedule instead of just picking random books from the library. So I'm excited to have this as far as her literature component, her and my youngest literature component this homeschooling year. So we're going to be doing the um melanated tells this is a 30 week schedule or 36 week schedule and it just has a few pages for us to read so what i'm going to do is we're primarily going to uh combine all of our literature for just monday and friday since those are our like lighter days so that's how i'm going to do literature for um my younger two so you guys these are my curricula picks for the 2024-2025 homeschooling year for my first grader i really hope you guys enjoy watching and seeing everything if you want to see any flip throughs or anything in more in depth please let me know i definitely will make a separate video for you guys stay tuned for my next video which will be my rising seventh graders curricula picks as always you guys thank you so much for watching today's video and i look forward to seeing everybody in my next one bye